What's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, check the description for all my information. I do all the hack rank and leak code solutions if you want to check playlists on my channel. Doing all the linked list problems. Just did like five or six. Uh, this is compared to linked lists. Uh, I actually had trouble with this. I wrote like two solutions that I thought worked. It's just a little bit tricky. Uh, lights just went out. Give me a sec. I don't know what was up with that, but oh yeah, I gotta leave soon. Library closes at five. Um, so two link lists. You're given the head nodes of two link lists. Compare the data. They're like flashing the lights. Compare the two the data. Um, so we have pointers to the heads of two link lists. We're gonna traverse both of them and make sure all the nodes are the same data wise. Um, and if they're not at any point, we're gonna return false. If they're completely the same list, then we're gonna return true. So you can do this recursively or iteratively. I just implemented both solutions. So I'll do it recursively at first uh, and then we'll do the iterative one. So actually we'll do iterative at first and then recursion because people struggle with recursion more. So first case I'm gonna do is if head one um, is equal to null and head two is equal to null, then we can return true, right? Because there's no lists. We're not traversing any lists. We just know that there's two null nodes. They're both the same. Return true, right? Now we'll jump into our loop through the list, right? So to loop through the list, you can either set current nodes to both of these to kind of loop through, or you could just use them themselves. Um, I I'd normally just use the nodes themselves, but for the purpose of you guys understanding, I'm going to make pointers to both of these nodes. So we'll do um, first um, runner. So we'll do first runner. That'll run down the first linked list, pointed to head one, and um, second runner, right, is equal to head two, right? So we're gonna loop through by going using first runner and second runner to go through these lists, and if they're not the same at any point, then we're going to return false, right? So we're gonna re we're gonna do while well, first runner is not equal to null, and second runner is not equal to null. Um, we're gonna do something and then we're gonna return false outside of this loop. So here's here's our condition to break on. If first runner becomes null, uh, for, I'm sorry, if first runner dot next is equal to null and second runner dot next is equal to null, then what we're going to do is we're going to return true, right? Because we this means that we made it through our whole list and all of the values are the same and the next nodes are null, so we're breaking out and we could just return true. Um, if first runner dot data, because the data for each node has to be the same too, is not equal to second runner dot data, then we'll just break out of our loop, right? and we break out of our loop, it'll return false automatically. You could return false or you could break out, we'll just break out. Um, and then down here, obviously we're gonna increment first runner equals first runner dot next, second runner equals second runner dot next, and that's gonna actually traverse the list. So I think this should be fine. I don't think I'm forgetting anything here. So there we go, we're passing all the text, test cases. That was the iterative solution. You, um, you could obviously just do these with the head nodes themselves, but you wanna just loop through, make sure the data is good at each point. If it's not, it's gonna be false. And we want to, um, when we get to the end, we just wanna return true because the data was the same. Now recursively, uh, we're gonna do the same check initially, right? This is still a good check to do initially. Check if the nodes are null, return true. And then we're gonna have a few other checks, right? So there's a few other conditions, right? If we're doing calling this recursively. Head one can be null, and head two might not be null, right? So in that case, false, right? Also, head one can be not null, and head two might be null, right? So that's another false because they're not the same. Also, if head one dot data is not equal to head two dot data, that's another false, right? So we kind of just handle all of these conditions right at the beginning, and then we just recursively call, sorry, on the next note. Um, compare lists, uh, head one dot next and head two dot next. And this works out perfectly for us because 
in the first call, if the note, both of the head nodes are null, we just return true because they're the same, they're both just nulls. But also we just check through all these false conditions, anything that would make them not the same, we check. And if we pass those, then we just go on to the next nodes. And it'll always break out at the, we always wanna have this first because it'll just break out if both of them are null. And that means we've made it through the end with all these recursive calls. So that's also gonna work for us. Um, that was the recursive version of it. We did the iterative and recursive version. So zero test cases failed. I don't really understand why. Head one dot next. Sorry, we didn't. We had a little syntax error there, but um, there we go. We passed recursive and iterative solutions. So there we go. Let's go on. To, we're going to do another linked list problem, trying to get this basic fundamental understanding. So um, that was compared to linked list. Check out the next one and see you guys.